<laughs> Woody, there's I know you're a stand your ground, staunch right wing kind of guy. <laughs> okay. I think you might be you're you're down with the stand your ground stuff as, uh, as far as that goes, right? Like like I like that that I think that I have more right wing um like issues than than you do. I think I am more on the right side of a lot of issues, not the correct side, but the right leaning side of a lot of issues than you are. And yet I do like that we have this purple mesh that uh that that supersedes the the party system for okay. castle doctrine yeah I'm a thousand percent on board but stay in your ground can also be like you know what i was at the gas station i was a little bit nervous so i just started blasting when maybe at the gas station if you had the ability to retreat you should have exercised that hmm i don't know should it, or or have to under or, or it's murder you know that's the question right I ask because I think I think it's like pornography. You know it when you see it. So it's always mm -hmm. good when there's when there's video evidence of these showdowns. I saw one the other day. The dude kicked the other guy's truck. The 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 man who owned the truck pulled out a handgun and put two in the guy's chest that fast. It faster than I just said it. He kicked the quarter panel of this Dodge. Dude went drew, drew bang bang. And it's like holy shit. I don't think that's uh, stand your ground. You just killed him over a quarter panel. Then I saw this article, <clears throat> man convicted of murdering three boys in California after teenagers knocked on his door and exposed their buttocks at him. This guy's at home with his family and three uh, teenagers. I think they were like 16, but they could have been younger, 12, 13 or something. They had a car. Uh, they, for whatever reason, chose him to, to fuck with. So they were either going to ding dong ditch him, which is when you knock on a door and run away for those who don't you know, know, uh, or they're going to jump in his pool. You know, and then jump out and, you know, do something like that. Do something silly to him. Well, I guess they they rang the doorbell and then showed him uh, their ass. Moved him. Yeah. Well, then they hop in their Prius and, and drive away. Well, he gets in his car and chases them down. It speeds over 100 miles per hour, rams their car, and it goes off the road and hits a tree. And all three of them die. Hmm. And he so said, justice. first of all, I'd had over a dozen beers. Before the incident began. Second of all, I feared for my family's safety. I had to go eliminate the threat. You don't know when <laughs> they're coming back. I don't remember hitting them. What if his <laughs> wife saw a butt? Uh, what if his children saw a butt? Yes. That's, what he's right. Maybe these guys maybe had to be, he'll be protected. But I think he's going to be protected <laughs> by one of those uh, those anti drag show laws since they exposed themselves to his children. I think he'll be fine. Because you can what? just yeah, I doubt no, I'm it. I'm 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 <laughs> the Texas one I'm <laughs> stuck on that that guy Jesus who posted on Jesus. Facebook that I may have to kill some protesters <laughs> today, and then he gets in his car, he speeds through red lights to get to the protesters, finds one holding a gun, says that he was scared for his life. The guy never pointed his gun at him, right? He didn't even claim that he pointed his gun at him. He just starts murdering this guy who's carrying a gun at the protest. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, he was convicted of murder, but then the governor of Texas was like, yeah, we kind of okay with killing Black Lives Matter protesters. So Yeah, I don't like that pardon. because because where I stand on that on, on any issue involving guns, I'm as far in the right side of the gun ownership column as I can be. So I, sometimes I'll see people show like people like transsexuals with guns that are painted with the tranny flag or whatever. And they'll be like, look at this. This is what they hate the most. And I'm like, oh, I love it so much. Fucking put a pussy on the end of that motherfucker. Make your silencer a big bussy. I would love that if it puts bussy. another gun in another fucking hand. You're I selling me on it. Shit. Tell me more. Yeah. The bussy <laughs> blaster. And it's... it's <laughs> It's just, <laughs> right, it makes queefing sounds with his silence. It's just a silence. butthole flashlight on the end of an AR-15 is all it is. But, but it doesn't fun. silence it. Yeah, I, I love that. Or when they show like um, Black Lives Matter people like like standing with their guns, or when they like show a flashback to the Black Panthers in some state capitol building, all with their with their uh, G3 rifles or whatever they were. I'm like, yeah, I love that shit. Yeah, I most gun people shit. love guns in pretty much every context. It supersedes all my other political views. Hmm. For a lot of people, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Guns are important and they're fun. Yeah. I even support women owning guns. What? Whoa. <laughs> no, well, I well, think with, okay, be with their with their I husband know we're a or brother show. or father's permission. <laughs> mm. Inshallah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <It's> 17. <laughs> <laughs> If they can prove they don't have a clitoris, then yes, they can have a firearm. It's one or the other, ladies. 
It's one or the other. That's the, the hard <laughs> rules of Kyle. He's, he's cruel is, and not fair. <laughs> North Carolina's concealed carry permit involves some competence. They take you to the range and is the easiest test. You have to hit all the targets from like nine feet. But at least you know how to operate the gun and you can like pick it up and put it down and only point it in the right direction and stuff like that. And I always thought that was a really good idea. And they also taught us the law, which wasn't completely intuitive. Like when it's okay to shoot and when you can't shoot, which has been updated since then. And I thought that was great. How do you feel about that for concealed carry? Should you have to take a course? course? Well, the, the, the issue is that concealed carry was ever even another branch of law or another uh, way to view gun ownership or gun carry it's mm-hmm. it, it's 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 um it's it, it's a it's a term that, that that you don't even want to begin with it doesn't matter how you carry it it's that you can carry it and you shouldn't need any kind of permit whatsoever so it should be as as free as a candy bar just buy it put it in your pocket carry it around everything's fine um, I can't think of very many restrictions I would place on fire firearm purchases and ownership I come at it from a different place than you. So you were born into an environment which was always going to make you a gun expert. I was not, right? I got my first gun at like 35, 37, something like that. And uh, I needed training. I I hired an instructor. I went to the range. I did that sort of stuff because I was not born. Like my dad didn't have any guns. We didn't have any guns in the house growing up. Guys like me need to be taught some laws and you know just competence in gun handling so i thought it was a good rule set no Maybe I, that I think explains it, why we came on we landed on different I, places i definitely think it is i just don't think it should be federally mandated i mm. think uh I, I i like small government so i think that um it should probably come down to your city ordinances um places of business and how they do how they do things like like i don't think a gun shop sh- a gun shop should be it could you know offer those courses there you should you should take them it's like the motorcycle uh, thing, Woody. Like, you can just go get a learner's permit and start riding your fucking bike, right? That's what most people do. They go get a little learner's permit that they just use forever. My cousin rode a bike for years. He's never had a motorcycle license or a lesson, you know? Mm. <laughs> I, but, but we did the responsible thing. We got, like, lessons, and we're watching YouTube videos, and we try not to kill ourselves or anybody else. But I like that we had the freedom to go the other way like to to just Mm -hmm. go get the thing and i think those two things are very akin because you are putting people at risk on the road when you're riding that motorcycle you know like you're 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 a 600 pound missile moving 120 (sighs) i mean you're right guided you're you're totally no i would you're partially right like i always thought that my motorcycle idiocy wasn't really putting other people at if i hear you and you're in your truck motorcycle i'm risking your property i'll go that far Mm. But unless I hit a pedestrian, the other party's probably fine. Most Are of you the time, a maybe gun guy at all, Aqua? Yeah, true. Or a motorcycle guy? I'm, I guess not, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a really a gun guy. I've shot guns. Um, shot an MP5 in the desert in Las Vegas. That was cool. Was it expensive? Fun. I, I sometimes I, I go skeet shooting. It's kind of like golf. <laughs> that, yeah. That's fun. I like doing that, but I, I wouldn't call myself a gun guy. No, despite being, you know, semi known for playing Escape from Tarkov, which, yeah, you know, a lot of gun guys like that game because of all the gun stuff in the game. 